Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Sorry about that. I was away for a while. I just started episode six um, of Game of Thrones today, Telltale Games, The Ice Dragon, because I've been waiting for that episode for almost a month and a half, and I just went and saw Mockingjay, which was an amazing movie. I suggest you go see it if you're a Hunger Games fan. And make sure my sister already messed this up, but make sure you watch... The Hunger Games, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay Part 1 before you go see this one if you haven't already. Because if you don't, then this movie, it, it ain't gonna make no sense. You can be asking questions throughout the movie like my sister did. I thought she was asking him about the new one, but she was really asking all these questions because she obviously hasn't seen the first three. But anyway, enough about The Hunger Games. Let's get back into, into Harm's Way. Chapter 3. Or Episode 3 used to call it like a chapter book in harm's way let's continue <clears throat> in the last episode we were trying to figure out a plan on how to get the heck out of here <clears throat> and we've already seen how much of a monster <clears throat> Carver really is. There's gotta be two or three thousand of them out there. We've already seen this, but I remember the last episode we were walking around the rooftop looking for a way to get in. <clears throat> Obviously, we'd be trapped in the greenhouses. No trap doors or anything. like Tavia sitting down there. <clears throat> Why'd you hear my joke I made earlier with her name? Octavia. That crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill? Go on. Uh, I was just, I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Spit it out, man. I don't think Bill was going to let him back in. Oh yeah, did you see what happened so when what Bill did to uh, Reggie? Think ready? I think so. Remember the one arm guy? Not sure about the expansion. Yeah, pushed him off the 30 foot roof to there out there just Molly. <clears throat> That's what they do. It was bull crap. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. Man. I figure we'd be used to it by now. Clementine is like a freaking ninja. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? It's a little different when it's dead human beings walking around. Yeah, I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Yeah, Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Uh, while you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when he brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. Me? It's hard not to call the prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. <clears throat> Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the material oh, wow. before we started expanding. She's got two walkie-talkies. She's... And she just got back up there like she's a freaking ninja parkour master. <clears throat> you can't be smoking back here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just Isn't that kind of scary how Vince I'm not looked like Glenn? Get blamed for this. That's bullshit. You missed his face, but he looked exactly like Glenn. But Vince! <clears throat> Vince, come on! Vince! Oh yeah, you know Glenn died in the game, right? because the walkie-talkie that Stranger had at the end of episode 5 was the same walkie-talkie Glenn had. Well, either Glenn did die in the game, or he just lost his walkie-talkie and disappeared. You get him? Okay, <clears throat> I'm I got you. Do you really? It's like a 20-foot fall. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well, my dad's still at the Ohio <clears throat> State game. What the heck? <clears throat> Everybody stay where you are. No need drawing suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. <laughs> nice job. Probably and die don't fit in the same sentence. Thanks. 
Yep. Oh, her name's hey. Jane. Gets nasty. <clears throat> Didn't hear any names until just now. I thought about Duck today. Oh, about no. his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. <coughs> Every damn place he went, he just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. <coughs> well, long day tomorrow. One long day. Maybe Duck wanted to run track if he got to high school. Except he'd be running with a bunch of zombies. Or from zombies. <clears throat> all right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Great, who's here? Tavia. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Sarah, Jane, if you gotta take a piss, do it now. The <laughs> next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. You didn't think that's Watch his them. Kenny or Clementine. Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. <clears throat> If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him, I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? No offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would there's a million reasons? She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. <laughs> I need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Get to peck. All right. And don't think today's going to be like yesterday. No way. No <laughs> shenanigans. This rooster's going to be surveilling your ass every second of the day. You hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Whatever. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> Kenny's very sneaky. He said, oh, you got your pockets all out and you put the radio in Clementine's pocket. Hey, she's with me? Oh, shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, <clears throat> I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. Won't they need my help? Well, today I need it more. Come on. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse, but he <coughs> was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Called goosebumps. As it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter?
You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. Bonnie, Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Clementine, and all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. I need it to save me 15% or more on car insurance. If you get caught and you mention my name, <clears throat> Carver will be the least of your troubles, okay? Well, what are you waiting for? Threatening to kill me, Bonnie? Listen here, Bonnie. Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Luke? <clears throat> Luke, it's me, Clementine. It's safe to come out. Oh no, where's Luke? It's where he was hiding. Uh oh, blood stain. That looks really old. He's probably fine. I don't know if blood looks old or not. Luke! Where is he? Luke! If you're hiding, come out! Oh! I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this! I was... You smack me. You ain't supposed to be out here. People been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up. Well, you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! that we're repaid for our trust with treachery with deceit crap they found yeah. Luke they caught him yeah that's what it looks like whatever you were planning is over it's done you can't just run from your problems you can't just up and leave when it gets tough because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't tough is all we got now get that through your fucking skulls <laughs> Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start by telling me where the other one is. Find it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Carver. His people caught Luke. He found one of the walkie talkies and now he's looking for the other one. We have it in our pocket, but well, let's see what happens in the next episode.